So how do we burst through communication blockers, get the listener's attention and call for action? How do we actually do that? So the main goal is to become effective communicators in the workplace. But let me tell you, once you ace those tools, you, you will become effective communicators everywhere. Now, there are some professional communication musts that we have to be aware of, because if we're not aware of them, they could be communication blockers as well. And these are very, very important ones. And I'm going to share the presentation with you, so no worries about it. You don't need to write it down. Number one, we need to know our audience. If we don't know our audience, we might waste their time and energy. And people hate when we waste their time and energy, like listening to you, right? And I will combine it with number two, topic is relevant. If we don't know our, our audience and the topic is irrelevant, now we're losing their attention and sense of initiative and listen to us and actually take actions upon our request because we don't really pay attention to them. So we need to make sure when we invite people for different meetings, unless you know everybody should be there, even though it's irrelevant, but if there is a choice, make sure that you know who is going to be in the room and you know that this whatever you want to say it's relevant for them because if not you're going to lose them for sure they be there they might be there physically but you're going to lose them uh, number three in order for people to actually create connection points with you and take initiative and act upon your suggestions believe it or not they need to like you when you know it could be on a very basic level, but they need to like you. And not only like you, they need to trust you. Because we cannot stand the fact as listeners that we go against our judgment, okay? So if I don't trust someone, I will probably not listen to him and take actions upon their suggestion. If I don't like someone, it will be very challenging for me to actually listen be there without any judgment and take upon whatever they say, okay? So we need to make sure as the people who communicate that we know our, our audience, we don't waste their time. We know our audience, we know their needs, their wants. We know that the topic we're about to talk and overcome our communication blockers, right? And other blockers like Zoom, for example, and keep the energy uh, relatively high, then we create connection points that encourage others to act upon, upon our suggestions, okay? So what we learn, that it's basically not all about delivery, the delivery of information. So if your only goal is to make sure other people heard the information that you wanted to deliver, you miss out big time. And this is very important thing. If all we think about is I have an information that needs to be delivered to a second or third party, and this is the only thing we pay attention to, we are going to miss out big time. And this is important to know. It is our responsibility to use effective communication to create a connection. And I'll teach you how to create a connection. And why is it our responsibility here in this call? Because you're in this call. So now the knowledge is going to be in front of you. You're going to, to be aware. So how do we burst through communication blockers, get the listener's attention and call for action? How do we actually do that? And this is a quote that I love, 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 love. 100% of employees are people. 100% of customers are people. 100% of investors are people. If you don't understand people, you don't understand business. And this is the beginning, the middle, and the end of this workshop. So what do we need to do? We need to understand people. Now, good news here, okay? We don't have to be a clinical psychologist in order to understand people and have a positive impact on them, right? We just need to be here. 